if you guys want your operator to go from looking like this, where you don't have a three-plate vest, a large backpack, or a durable gas mask, and instead want to look like this, where you are going to have that large backpack, you are going to have a three-plate vest, you're going to have a self-revive and that durable gas mask, make sure you watch to the end of the video, and I'll show you the fastest way possible. What is going on, guys? t here bringing you another YouTube video. In today's video, I will be going over the fastest way possible to get a three-plate vest, durable gas mask, self-revive, and a large backpack in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. This method does not require you to have anything special, so you can spawn into the game with nothing and succeed with this method. We are currently on the road to 1,000 subscribers and are just about 40 away, so if you guys find the video useful, please leave a like, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's hop right into the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to have to do is set up our class properly. So for your primary weapon, I recommend putting on any LMG or assault rifle that has a large magazine. The reason for this is because you're going to have to take down a mercenary camp and a mercenary stronghold, which can be pretty difficult. But if you have a gun with a larger magazine, it's going to make it a lot easier. I do not recommend a secondary. This is because you'll be able to run around with your fist out, which will make you run a lot quicker, optimizing your time. Your tactical is extremely important. You're going to want to run the decoy grenade. This sort of acts like a monkey bomb and will make sure all zombies are distracted and away from you when you throw it. The lethal isn't important. The thermite grenade is my favorite, so that's what I'm going to run. And then if you're playing solo, you're definitely going to want to run Ether Shroud. All right, so let's go ahead and hop right into this one. So the very first thing you're going to want to do whenever you guys spawn into the game is find the nearest vehicle and then pull up your minimap and locate wherever a mercenary camp is. So a mercenary camp looks like this on the minimap. So you're going to mark it, go to the nearest vehicle, and you guys are going to drive all the way to the mercenary camp and complete it really fast. So let me go ahead and travel all the way over there, and then I'll pick the video back up then. All right, so we are just about done with this mercenary camp. The one thing that I did want to tell you guys is just to make sure to be extremely careful whenever you're doing these. These mercenaries can be pretty powerful, and some of them, like the ones that are running around with the melee weapons, have the ability to sometimes one-shot you. It's pretty random, but in order to do a mercenary camp, it's pretty easy. You just kind of got to do what I'm doing here, and you just got to run around and look for all the mercenaries in the area and just make sure you kill them all. So at this point, we just have a few more. So we're going to go ahead and kill up these few, and then as soon as we get all of them killed, it'll say mercenary camp completed, and then we're going to be looking for one specific chest. So let's go ahead and see if we can't find wherever this last mercenary is. All right, and just like that, you can see that the mercenary camp is completed. So as soon as you complete the mercenary camp, you're going to be looking for a loot chest. So it's going to be right here. It's usually going to be in the center of the camp. What this is going to give you is a mercenary stronghold key card, and it's going to give you a two-plate vest, which could be very helpful for you. So now what you guys are going to do is you're going to get your two-plate vest. You're going to go over to the vehicle you had. You're going to pull up on your minimap, and you're going to look for the nearest stronghold. So we're going to go ahead, and we are going to drive to this stronghold and complete it. So as soon as I get to the stronghold, I will go ahead and do a good majority of it, and then I will pick the video back up then, guys. All right, so we are in the stronghold now, and the whole point of the stronghold, if you guys haven't did many of these, is to look for the three-plate vest. See, those right there, the melee guys are exactly what I'm talking about. That's what you have to be extremely careful about. I had all my plates on, and he just ran up and hit me, and that almost one-shot me. If I didn't have my two-plate vest, I probably would have went down. But when you're killing mercenaries, make sure you're looking on the ground and see if you can find gas mask and hopefully find a durable. But once you're in the stronghold, the one thing you're looking for is exactly what I just found here, and it, it is the safe. So as soon as you can, I mean, make sure you're safe. Clear out all the mercenaries in the area so that you don't go down or anything. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to hold square, and you are going to open this loot chest. So from here, you're just going to have to defend this while the safe is going all the way up. You'll have to defend it from zombies and mercenaries. So let me go ahead and do that real quick, and I'll show you what you guys are going to get out of this safe. All right, guys, and the safe is just about done. I made sure that, oh, now I made sure that there's not any more mercenaries around me just to be extra safe. And then from here, you're going to go up to the safe. You're going to open it up, and then just like that, we are going to have a three-plate vest. So we'll go ahead and equip that. I'll stow that circuit mod. We don't need to go to the fortress key, uh, the fortress, so I'm not going to pick up that key card. But if you guys want to, you could go ahead and pick it up. So from here, we have a gas mask already, and we have a three-plate vest. So the next few items that we're going to want to get is we're going to want to upgrade our gas mask from a regular to a durable. And then we're going to want to get a large backpack and a self-revive. 
And honestly, the best way to do that is to just do contracts and get to about $20,000. So, if you guys don't have the best gun in the game and you don't have like everything pack-a-punch, just stick to the tier 1 area because like I have here, I'm only walking around with a regular LMG. I haven't used any of the uh, schematic tools on it to increase the level rarity. I haven't pack-a-punched it or anything, so it is pretty weak. So I'm just going to stick and do a bunch of tier 1 contracts. As soon as I get a bunch of these done, I will go ahead and get up to 20 grand. And then once I get to 20 grand, I will pick the video back up then and show you guys what we're looking for. And just as I completed the very first contract, I got a self-revive. So I don't know if this is something that I'm just getting lucky with or if it's something they change in the game. But whenever you're running solo and you don't have a self-revive, it seems like every single contract you do is like guaranteed to drop one. But that could just be complete random chance and I'm completely speculating. But it seems like 9 times out of 10, whenever I am running solo and I don't have a self-revive, the very first contract I do is going to give me that self-revive. So make sure you guys are checking those rewards and getting all the good gear out of them whenever you're doing these contracts, trying to get up to that 20,000 points. And through the power of editing, we now have exactly enough money to buy exactly what we need to be fully kitted up in this game. So since we did go ahead and get a three plate vest by doing the mercenary stronghold and we got lucky and got a self revive from just doing the bounty contracts. Now the last thing that we really need to get fully set up is going to be the large backpack and we're going to need to get a durable gas mask. And honestly, rather than just running around looting, the easiest way to get that is by going to a tier three buy station. It's going to be $10,000 or 10,000 essence to get the large backpack and it's going to be 4,000 to get the durable gas mask. See, I have exactly enough to get exactly what we're looking for. So you're going to mark the nearest buy station in the tier 3 area and you're just going to head that way. Alright, so here we are at the buy station. This is why decoy grenades are extremely important. What you're going to do is you're going to throw a decoy on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and throw both of mine, get into the buy station. We're going to buy a large backpack and a durable gas mask. Now that we have those items, all we're going to do is get out of here. There's no reason to hang out any longer. We got exactly what we wanted. We got the durable gas mask and we got the large backpack. That is by far the easiest way to get a large backpack and a durable gas mask because there's really no RNG to it. It's absolutely guaranteed that it's going to be in a buy station. And just like that, guys, we are now fully kitted up inside of zombies. And what I mean by that is we have a three plate vest. We have a self revive. We have a durable gas mask, and we have a large backpack. So this is going to allow us to perform to the best of our ability in our next few Zombies games, and it will also allow us to store a bunch more items inside of the game. So if you get a bunch of those really cool rare schematics or rare items you want to hold on to, the larger backpack will allow you to exfil with those. But yeah, as soon as you guys have this, I would just go ahead and mark the nearest exfil, and then go ahead and exfil and hop into your next game. But yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for the video. I hope this short tutorial helps you out, and I will catch you guys all in the next one.